Okay, so I don't know how well that shows up, but that is exhaust smoke, I believe, coming out of the oil dipstick. Um, this uh, tractor I recently fixed, it was not running, uh, needed a new ignition coil, spark plug, fuel system carburetor, and a drive pulley. Anyway, it drives um, and runs pretty well, um, but it is a little hard to start. And it does sound a little bit loud when shutting it down. You can hear that compression escaping. So I'm going to uh, pull the head off and put a new gasket on. Okay, so first things first. Um, I'm going to get this hood off just to get better access to the engine as well as give you guys a better view. Um, on a lot of machines like my Husqvarna here, you can just tilt the hood open and lift the hood right off without any tools. Uh, in this case, it's a little bit different. There's actually a bolt here and one underneath. So two bolts on each side. And then um, once those are removed, this hood will just come right off. Okay, so now the fun begins. Uh, we need to start peeling layers off so that we can get to the head. Um, basically everything that's attached to the head needs to come off. So that's, you know, the intake side, the carburetor, the exhaust, the tins, you know, the wires, the hoses, the cover, the rockers, and eventually the head. All right, got to put you down for this one. All right, getting this cover off can be a bit messy. There is a lot of oil sometimes in these covers. Okay, so it looks like it's going to be a half inch socket to get these bolts out. Um, just one thing to note, I think what happened here, um, when I initially kind of saved this machine, 
I had cleaned out, you know, taken this off and cleaned out the cooling fins. They were all jam packed with grass clippings. So this engine was not cooling properly. And what happens over time is it overheats and then it cools down, overheats, cools down. It repeats that cycle, stretching out these bolts. And what eventually happens is the head gasket blows. So that's probably what happened here. So it is important to check your uh, cooling fins. I mean, these are air-cooled engines. If air can't get through the fins, then you're gonna have trouble. Wow. So this bottom right bolt had basically no torque on it and this bottom one was not much better um, this one was very tight the top and this top right I haven't been able to get off yet so I think what we're gonna see is if it's if the gasket is blown it's probably blown more on the bottom I guess we'll find out This bottom right one has a spacer, so make sure that one goes back in the right spot. Okay, and all the others are the same size, so theoretically this head is free to come off now. I'm just going to whack it a few times with a mallet and see if we can't get it off. Okay. All right, so I think you can see here, we had a couple blowouts. Uh, this is the one I suspected, going basically from the cylinder over to um, the crankcase where the push rods are. Um, what I was not aware of was uh, down here. Looks like it blew out in two spots heading down. You can kind of see here on the aluminum how black it is so that's where the exhaust uh, smoke was hitting it. And uh, that's something I couldn't see. When I, when I actually took this apart to clean the cooling fins, you know, I noted that it looks nice and clean, although full of grass, but no exhaust skid marks. Um, what I did not do was pull this tin off down here that was covering the exhaust, you know, and then I might have been able to look up and see that, yeah, there was a lot of exhaust coming out of the bottom. So I don't know what the compression was on this thing, but it definitely was not uh, running at its full potential with all these leaks. So I want to get this cleaned up and then we'll just put it back together and see how it drives. Okay, I don't know if you can see that, but this is the exhaust gasket and you can see it's blown out on the side. Uh, so that's probably another reason why it was kind of loud. Um, you know, I think between all the uh, compression and exhaust escaping around here, uh, it was really making a lot of noises uh, of compression loss. Anyway, I'm not going to rush and put this back together. I'm just going to clean this up, get a new exhaust gasket ordered and uh, then we'll close this thing back up. Okay, so we got the, uh, the gasket for the exhaust as well as the new head gasket here. Um, everything's pretty well cleaned off. Um, you know, I wouldn't say it's 100% perfect, but you know, in this case, it's a lot better than what it was. So. I think we're ready to proceed and get this thing back together. Uh, the only thing I did kind of off camera here is 
Uh, I did loosen up the exhaust a little bit. Uh, so what I want to do is, you know, I got to put the head on while getting the exhaust in at the same time. And then when I tighten the exhaust up, I want to make sure it's making a good solid connection to that head. So I took the spark plug out, I just want to rotate the engine, make sure I don't hear any, uh, anything hitting that it shouldn't or rubbing. And it sounds good. I don't know if I mentioned this before, but um, this is a Kohler CV15S engine. And um, it was very easy to find the service manual online. You know, usually it's a struggle to find out what these torque values are, but the service manual is excellent. You know, so that really says something, I think, about this company. Um, and it's easy to read. Anyway, it does have the torque settings for the uh, exhaust. So 216 inch pounds. I know my torque wrench is not that precise, but it at least gives me something to aim for. And, uh, you know, so I'm going to proceed to tighten the exhaust appropriately and, uh, you know, with the manual I'll be able to torque everything the way that it was meant.
Okay, and for this engine, you're supposed to just use an RTV sealant on the cap, so I've put that on, I've let it set up for a few minutes, and I think we're ready to uh, bolt the cover back on. Okay, mechanically it's all back together. Um, I just need to put the hood on and uh, try starting it. Okay, I think we're ready to drive. Uh, I did get a little oil on the exhaust, so there might be a little bit of smoke burning off but hopefully not too much. Okay, not bad for a 20 year old tractor. So um, anyway, I think we're done here. I uh, hope this helps someone. Thanks for watching.